Cymatics 101, The Art and Science of Cymatics with Jodina Meehan. Did you know that sound may not be a wave but a bubble? John Stuart Reed proposes that sound is not actually a wave, as has been thought for centuries, but a bubble created around the source of the sound, as shown in this photo by John Reed in England. The reason we have thought sound was a wave, says Mr. Reed, is because of the way we have been recording it as a line or wave on a long sheet of paper. But this is only one way to record sound. The cymoscope and other cymatic devices used to record sound visually have shown that sound may actually be formed as a bubble, and the images we see recorded cymatically are single slices through this bubble of sound frozen in time. Today's art demo is about what kind of bow to use for playing a somatics plate. While I began using a violin bow, I found that it was a bit too light duty for playing a steel plate every day. I had problems with the knob at the end breaking because it was tightened a lot, and also the amount I wanted to tighten it was a bit much for the spring of the bow. I spoke to a violin maker in my town, and he suggested I use a cello bow for cymatics, which is heavier duty than a violin bow. I tried this and it worked for a time, but at one point the end actually broke. It was probably my fault as I left it tense for a while, which you should never do, but I found myself looking for another bow. Finally, I decided to try a fiberglass bow instead of the usual wood. So far, this has worked perfectly for use with my cymatics plate. The bow you see on the right is my cello bow, which I used before I had the fiberglass. And now, let's read our letters from the mailbag. E writes, Hello, this is a project my daughter and I are working on for her science fair. We are using your website as a reference. Thanks. I'm still looking for my old upright bass bow to make some cymatic artwork. E. If you want to see E's video on YouTube, there is the address. And now for our cymatic soundbite of the day. As I was scraping a brass plate with a sharp iron chisel in order to remove some spots from it, and was running the chisel rather rapidly over it, I once or twice during many strokes heard the plate emit a rather strong and clear whistling sound. On looking at the plate more carefully, I noticed a long row of fine streaks parallel and equidistant from one another. Scraping with the chisel over and over again, I noticed that it was only when the plate emitted this hissing noise that any marks were left upon it. When the scraping was not accompanied by the sibilant note, there was not the least trace of such marks. Galileo Galilei, 1632. And now for our credits and cool stuff. Thank you to John Stuart Reed for the bit about sound as a bubble, not a wave. The quote from Galileo Galilei was found on Wikipedia and is taken from his book, Dialogue Concerning the Two Chief World Systems. And you can learn more about cymatics, see cool cymatics videos, and download your free video instructions for making your own cymatics device to see your voice at www.cymatica.com. That's C-Y-M-A-T-I-C-A dot com.